Iglesias isolated to the top of your screen. But Bradford not looking at Wood. It's batted in the air and intercepted by Major White. So here you have two quarterbacks, Heisman Trophy winning quarterbacks, who have thrown a total of eight interceptions all year, three tonight. And the ball bouncing off of Manny Johnson as it was played and contested by Joe Hayden. How many other guys touched it? Black 35, 41 stamper. Ball goes in the air. There's Black keeping it alive. Look at that, Wright finally coming up with the football. And Florida foils him again at the goal line. Well, what would, would we say about offenses coming in this game? I don't remember a thing 54 about that. 54 and 45. <laughs> what a great job by Florida on two different defensive stands. We knew Florida's defense had been dynamite statistically all year. Oklahoma's defense has been mighty impressive through the first half tonight. Guys standing by in Los Angeles with the Southwest Halftime Show. A 7-7 game in Miami. Set to begin the second half in Miami, the FedEx BCS National Championship game. Florida and Oklahoma even at 7. And the Florida Gators will get the football to begin the second half. Two interceptions thrown in the first half by Tim Tebow. He had thrown two interceptions all year. But Florida's defense twice with huge stops inside the 10 against Oklahoma. Brandon James just does avoid stepping out of bounds, fielding the kickoff and brings it out to the 28. Let's check in downstairs with Chris Meyer. Tommy, the good news for Florida, Percy Harvin has checked out okay and good to go the rest of the game. They're gonna try and wrap the ankle of Chris Rainey. There's a chance the running back could play in the second half, but Urban Meyer said look for two things. More pressure from us, we're gonna blitz Bradford and we're, offense needs to be in sync. We need to run inside. I asked what he liked, what he didn't like in the first half. He said, I liked our defensive stand. Other than that, I didn't like bleep. <laughs> Succinct and to the point. Harbin in motion, and they give it to Dents. And just no running game whatsoever for Florida. How about on the Oklahoma side, Chris? Uh, Bob Stoops was smiling a little bit more confident about his offensive line, moving around Austin English and Beal on the defensive line. He said that got Tim Tebow out of his comfort zone, thus leading to a couple of interceptions. He didn't regret going for it on fourth down and didn't regret the, uh, regret the effective pass that led to an interception, killing a chance for a field goal. Stoops said, we'll be aggressive on offense. That's the way we play. Second down and 10, they give it to Dex again and just bottled up this Florida ground game, which averages 230 rushing yards per game. Very, very quiet. You look at the season averages for this team, two of the top three scoring teams in the country. Through the first half, Oklahoma averages 35, Florida 23, each with a touchdown tonight. Well, one stat did hold up for both teams, Tom. Neither is trailed and a half in any game this year. Oklahoma's been getting a lot of pressure on Tim Tebow. No sacks, but they have disrupted the timing of his passing game. And he's hit as he throws here. And just beyond the reach of Percy Harvin. You wonder if that ankle is 100% rather than 90%. Does he run that one down? Also, the pressure in the face of Tebow, left side of your screen, number 28, Travis Lewis. I think that helped disrupt the timing of the pass because Tim Tebow couldn't really step and throw it the way he wanted to. He had to get rid of it in the direction of Percy Harvin a little bit too long. They'll come back to that play. He was wide open. They've got to be able to block the guy on the edge, though, for him to throw it accurately. Excellent punt by Henry. And boils the fair catch at the 11 yard line. An early stop for the Sooners. Bradford and company when we return.
Tonight's game is sponsored by Southwest Airlines. Low fares, no hidden fees.